Hi, this is Sherry Veronica, and with me again tonight is Patricia Benedict. She's going to detail her experience when she was at Hotel St. Philip. Say hi to everyone, Patricia. Hi, good evening, everyone. Thanks for having me, Miss Veronica. You are so welcome. You are so welcome. So you're going to walk us through your experience when you were there? Yes, please. Okay, go right ahead. Well, as, as the, the viewers know, I, I went there the 14th of April, 2023. And when I got there, Miss Calendar handed me over to uh, Bishop, a uh, 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 card named Bishop Wraith. Now, I, I, I was telling Bishop Miss Bishop Wraith the condition I came up here with, and she whispered something to Miss Callen in Miss Calendar's ear. But anyway, so I was um, I had uh, to do lots of check check up checks, and I had to they gave me clothing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But anyway, I I settled in the first night. The second night, um, um, which is the the fifteenth of Saturday this April, when I um. Um, it was Miss Bishop Wave Shift again from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. The reason why I will be I will be mentioning Miss Bishop Wave, Miss Brewster, and Miss Worrell would be for reason. And so their shift came up on Saturday, so they flew from 7 p.m. And I explained to them what Jason Lecoq had said to me, and they turned it around. And start defaming my name, stating that um, I wanted to self harm myself. You you wanted to do what? Self harm oh, myself. Oh, oh, I see. Yes. So I knew who it was. It was the Bishop Wave Chief sh that said it. I was there. Eventually, down the line, I would tell her why. Anyway, then this Saturday, the the, the this this Sunday, I realized. Because that time we were, I was in segregation. In segregation is where when you first come in, you spend 10 days in there. So I realized when I come in there, um, you know, you come in, you remove, you put, um, they have liquid for you to wash, to do um, soap and everything, to, to wash the bathroom. So they open your, 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 your what do you call it? It's your cell. And you, you, an uh, inmate would either do the one do the sweeping, or mopping, or scrubbing the bathroom if they have three persons. So I realized none of the so the contents were there, and I was wondering why they removed it. Okay. So um, the Sunday morning, because I said that um, what Jason Lecox, um said to me. Miss, they were offended. That chief was offended by it because they're very close to the whole town police and the magistrate's court. Did you know Miss Veronica, Miss Worrell, she should have never done that. A Sunday, uh, which would have been maybe the 16th of April, 2023. She, there was, it was me and two other inmates. You know, she opened up all the cells Deliberately, and although I told her what what um he the Lecoq said that he would um that I have to be um he I am not alive, and she broke the rules because you're supposed to open one cell at a time. If you open the cell for me, I I will sweep. The second person will mop. The third person will scrub. But she opened the cell and let everybody out. And I said to her, I am not coming out. And I refuse to come out. And I refuse to bathe when when the other cells and the other inmates came out. And she deliberately went by this interrogation door for everyone, even the inmates to her and said, Miss Benedict says she ain't bathing. That was Miss Worrell. The that was the Monday, the 17, 18, 19, maybe the 20th, the uh, uh, Wednesday, there was this um, 
Some people came to visit. I don't know who they were. A big group, well dressed people. Now they came through segregation. Now, Miss Veronica, there is a place. You see what happened at the girls industrial school? Yeah. Um, sorry, the in um was it called the school or the the way they have for the girls? Yes. You know that room the girl was in? I have no idea. Naked, naked. You remember? Yeah, I heard the about it. I, I I heard about it, but I wouldn't know. You never saw it? No. There is one in there. There is one inside that prison interrogation. So when Miss Banfield was giving those people a tour, and she know me already, she and she was saying to them, this cell is for people that are um, who wants to self harm themselves and they put them in there. So when they were walking past, it was about 10 people. I said, that's not true. This is not the only reason they put in for. So a man approached me and said, um, what, what else do they put? What, what else, for what reason they would put you in there? I said, when you do not want to eat. It's a form of punishment when you do not want. For example, I protest, I do not eat. So if I do not eat, they have to put it in, write it down in the book, the notes, and it don't look good for them. So you protested, so you, already, pro you protested while you were there? When I mean protest, if, if, I, if, if, if they are frustrating me or, or doing stuff to me I do not like, I do not eat. Oh, I see. Period. The whole day, I don't care. I do not eat. Oh, okay. So, the, so when he said to me, "What do you mean?" I said that is this is a naughty cell. This is where the the it's a torture cell. That's what I said to them. It's a torture cell. It's not only for um, putting you there for um, self harm. And let me make a note of this. No one should be put into there. It's the same thing the girl was, something similar what the girl, the young lady was in. Mm -hmm. Nobody, that should have never been in, in that prison, in segregation. And they should have never said it is used for people that want to um, commit suicide. If you want to, if, if, if that's the case, they carry it down, down to the mental, Miss Veronica. Mm -hmm. Because there's no way... This that prison and the medical staff cannot handle people who want to self harm themselves. Mm -hmm. So they should never be there. It, it, it is there to torture people if they don't want to eat the food or, or, or other means. They, that's what it is there for. That's what they wanted to do with me when I didn't want to eat. They tell me they wanted to put me in there. I said, you, can, you cannot put me in there. Why would you want to put me in there? Because I do not want to eat. And there's no toilets in there. It's it's just like what the lady, the young lady had. No toilets. You do would strip you butt naked. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and um no windows, nothing. There's absolutely nothing in there. Mm -hmm. So when I told him that the man was very interested in it, and I said I wish that retired commission or Williams would come have a have a look at those things. Did you know when Miss Banfield were going out? Correct, I will uh, think for correction. I could have sworn I heard Miss Banfield said that I'm in there because I wanted to 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 uh, I, because she tried to and I they, 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 the people would verify that with me. If that's what she said. If uh, that I wanted to self harm myself. Mm. Now, if I wanted to self harm myself. Like I told Miss Drix when she came to see me, um, the which is the twenty eighth or roughly the twentieth of April, when she come and see me, tell me she eventually came to see me almost a week after. She said, she said that was strange when I told her about what Jason Lee Cock and blah blah blah. She said she couldn't, she couldn't help me, and she said to me when she heard that I wanted to self harm myself. So I said to her, Miss Drex, if I wanted to self harm myself, would y'all keep the conditioner and shampoo in my room? Would y'all keep the the what's it called, the sheets, the bed bedding in my room? Would y'all keep those stuff that would I would um, 
look to if I wanted to kill myself or whatever. Would I? Would y'all keep those things? She said that's not true. She said she knew that's not like you. So there were that those Miss Bishop Wave, Miss Warrell, and Miss um. What's the other lady's name? Um, wanted to defame my name, Miss Brewster, because they were closely with Jason Leacock and 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 whole town police. Mm -hmm. So, so how do you get I, your I, strength? I, I, where, where, yeah. where, where, during your life, where did you accumulate such strength to be able to do the things you do? Uh, in in the prison. Yeah, because I think it's a, I think that you're very strong. I had to be strong. I had to, I had to focus. Meant it God first. God, mm -hmm. you had to, I had to. And there's there's a uh, and believe it or not, I had there's a uh, a group. Um, I have um, other people that I think, but um, Indian and Chris Gale, Vibes Radio Show. And I just imagine, well, I'm listening to them and they, they, they talk. They do a lot of talks and okay, stuff. Okay. And I'm just imagine, I'm just listening to them. When you're in segregation for 10 days, you have to be strong mentally, you know, or that would break you. I've seen people, I had one particular girl who said that she wanted to kill herself. That was the time I was there before. So you have to be really strong mentally when you're in segregation for 10 days. And it's not a joke. Let me just go to segregation. It's not a joke. Segregation is not a joke. We'll just start with segregation first. Mm -hmm. You stay there for 10 days. They, they purport to be like quarantining. I came in, when I arrived, I got a COVID test. I had another COVID test. Ms. Veronica, you're supposed to spend, they said, 10 days. When I saw it was ele almost 11 days, I said to them, you are infringing on my rights legally. I am not supposed to be there. I use that term. That term's locked. Legally, I am not supposed to be still in surrogation. And you all do not understand what the surrogation is for. Yeah, it's for COVID and stuff. But I defend myself. I have 28 days in prison. So 10 days is taken away from me, quarantining uh, in surrogation. Not communicating, can't communicate, no kind of call. I have to be at the mercy, which Miss Gale have been very good to me, of the, the welfare officer, to make calls out to your loved ones. Mm -hmm. But there were people that were allowed to break the rules in segregation, like Miss allegedly Miss Warrell's friend, who was supposed to be in there for 10 days. When 10 days you're supposed to be there, you're not supposed to be out. But each night day, allegedly, this, uh, this young woman could have come out and make phone calls. Come out, she's supposed to be in quarantine. Mm -hmm. But she's because she's friends, allegedly friends with Miss Warrell's um daughter. She was allowed to make come outside of where she's supposed to be mm -hmm. and, and, and make phone calls. It's leaking. Segregation is terrible. When it rains and has been like that for months before when I was in there the first time, it floods in there. You think they don't know about it? They know about it. You get. It. I never got the experience to see the odd centipede coming in in there because of the 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 um thing. It floods in there. I mean, many times you did well. It, well, I would when I was there the last time too. It flood. I had to put um the big garbage um what's it called bin to collect water, and it's been like this for months from since January when I was first arrested. So why are they not fixing it? The taps. If you turn on the tap inside segregation, Miss Veronica, mm -hmm. the water waste. If you turn on one a particular tap, it runs for two hours. So mm -hmm. you you have, say, the three of us, three or four inmates there. We have a shower, we bathe, we mop. 
we're in our cells and the water is still running two, three hours, about two hours later, one, two hours later, mm -hmm. still running, wasting right. water. Right. You mean to tell me they can't get it fixed? Right? And there was rich. If you were in quarantine, why would other inmates, when they come in to serve the food, come up to your cell when they're supposed to stay out? And I, because of my because of what Lakeau had said to me, I was I did I said to some of the guards I did not feel comfortable the inmates were coming in right by my door and it's supposed to be quarantined. They're not supposed to have been let in so close. They should stay outside and the guards are supposed to to take the food and bring it to me. And the, and there was one time to where a guard, I suspect that she had a cellular phone recording me in there. Oh yes. So you, so you, so you were never me. you you were never approached um, by, by any of the females for anything that is, you know, against your they religion. Made, they made threats. They, uh, they, a, a lot of threats were made to me. Um, but I'm just was re just briefing on in um, segregation. Uh, 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 quite a few threat threats were made on my to my life. Mm -hmm. Um, and I blame, um, I blame, um, what's her name? Miss Drakes. I blame her for that. Mm -hmm. Because when they made threats to my life, I will tell you like words. I'm not going to mention who they are. If you come near me, I will choke you long. Backward, a slut. You can suck him. But okay, my, my okay, okay, dead. okay, okay. You don't, you know, I don't right, say right, no. because I won't be able to upload uh, yeah, sorry, this. Uh, okay. My apologies. Okay. I will cuff you in your face. Now, this is the part. The only, you want to drink liquid. Why did, Why you did not drink it? That's the same thing where somebody said I wanted to self-harm myself. Right. So they spread, the, the guards, they tried to fame my name telling the inmates that I wanted to drink liquid. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was the 28th, something, the incident happened. Now, now, when I went into general population, Miss Drake's the head knew how I felt. I told Miss Drake's when she came to me, I said, I do not feel comfortable going to the A court because when I was there before, they had inmates that threatened me. Mm hmm and were bullying me. Mm -hmm. And she did nothing. She never, she mistrikes, never do nothing about it. All she said, she one time she tell a woman, I told you do not threaten people already. You don't do that. You discipline the person by putting them in a cell for a week or four days, five days, because a serious threat. A threat is a threat. So when she was putting me in segregation in, in, in general population, I said, Miss Drakes, I do not want to go to a court because I've been bullied there. Oh, we don't have nowhere else to put you. Now, mind you, the court, there is upstairs where they have about 20 bunk beds. Nobody is in there. At that time, downstairs, there's only one person there that was being bullied, a Canadian woman, and they put her there. But there was another person in there, I'll have to talk about her uh, coming down, where when they realized I am onto them, they deported her back. I will talk about her, Miss Shauna Hines. That they had her if they allegedly illegally near, yeah, abducted her illegally, allegedly. So she told me she could have no way. And she, you know, Miss Briggs would put me in the same place. I told her that I didn't want to go because I know how I felt and I know what they've done to me. For a week, Miss Javernica, they bullied me, bullied me, told so much lies on me. All right? All Miss Rick saying, oh, who, if you, as, and she said as a joke, anybody that bully you, you come and tell me. And she had a smirk on her face as if it's it's, 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 a, it's a joke. And they told you, Miss, Miss Veronica, one, two individuals in particular, 
and I don't, I don't know, I don't mention any names. Two individuals in particular, all, most of them were were were, were, were um, bullying me, telling me all sorts of things. But there were two that went too far. One time I was sleeping. I don't know if you noticed the, the, this this bunk bed upstairs and downstairs. So we we have enough space. So everybody's I sleep downstairs the bunk bed and I, upstairs is free. I could use put everything I want on my bunk bed upstairs. You know those two individuals. They put it upon themselves. I only heard the a laughing. I felt something on me. It was like roughly about 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. And I felt this thing dripping down me, Miss Veronica. When I looked, you know it was? They poured water. So they went over. If I don't know if you, if you know how the, the whole, I don't know if you, you may not know how the no, prisons I, I, are. No, I've never it's been there. I, I would love to it's tour it. Sections. Well, not tour it, tour it, but yeah, but I, I've mm -hmm. never been in there. It's three sections. So the, the individuals that put water, there's only two bunk beds there, and they were sleeping, like, you know, um, there by themselves. Yeah. So they went over. I was in the center and poured the water through the hole and wet me up and wet the bed. I didn't see anything. I heard the laughing. When I woke up, and I looked across at them. They were darkened, and they were laughing. And mm -hmm. I told the, some of the guards about it. This mm -hmm. is assault, you know. This is a serious, serious offense when you do that to two people. But they were sent. They were sent. And there's one individual allegedly, I don't, anyway, I this, she's a nurse. I wouldn't even let her look at after my dog. And she needs to be investigated if she's working with the government. Because the disturbing things that the certain guards allow um, had this woman do to me is unacceptable. So nothing came out of it. Miss Drake's had this meeting. Nothing came out of it. Mm -hmm. Nothing came out of it. And then um, I, I when I was I, I made a phone call because I had credit from the last time. I told Miss 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 Claire Alexandra, and uh, she probably informed me to Mr. Williams. They told me they were watching, but they never told me how they were watching mm -hmm. the incident. They were watching what's going on. Because you know who's in charge of the prisons too, Home Affairs Minister Wilfred Abraham. Right. And you know, I've been speaking um, against him. Yeah. So he had his people in there too. So the, that was the 25th when I was brought to the general population. It's going on to 22 minutes, so, you know. Okay. Right. So I will, I will, yeah. So that's, that's basically it for now. I, right. I would just think, in, in, I will just leave it as that for now. Right, right. Because, yeah, people get tired when they have to listen for too long. Yeah. But, um, so your, your general feeling and your, no one, I, I, I no one can be comfortable in any kind of prison, but f but mm -hmm. from from your experience, well, you probably don't have anything to compare it to because I I could have asked you, well, is it worse than America or is it worse than anywhere else? You probably have nowhere, you have no other experience where you can compare being in Barbados prison to any other prison. But overall, mm -hmm. overall, you can say that what I don't want to put words in your mouth. Overall, what would you say? One to ten? Yeah. How bad it is? One to ten? Ten. Oh. Oh, wow. Ten. Okay. Ten. And I know a lot of people are going to hate me when, when, ten. And it's it, it just, the, the tea is just start getting hot. Oh. The tea is just start getting hot. And I would just mention one thing. And allegedly there was a fight. There was a fight, a big fight allegedly between i saw it but i would say allegedly because i don't know two guards mm -hmm. this in the in this lady i think allegedly beat, beat up or whatever uh or, or assaulted two guards and they had to go home allegedly for a week mm -hmm. but she only spent two days in in a cell so who who She's fought two, go, two wait 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 so two guards fought no, this woman allegedly—I don't know what happened, what 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 happened that 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 that, that thing. But she is not. I personally would not have kept her in the prisons. She should be a mental patient. 
I personally, because there's no rehabilitation in that prison. Mm -hmm. Nothing whatsoever. No counseling. If they have counseling, I have been there, and the last day before I will, day before the last, it's going to tell me I will see a counselor. I've never seen a counselor in there. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I, I would, I, the other inmates have to talk about um, that do not be, I don't think, should be, should be housed at the prisons. They right. should be at the mental. Okay, okay. So you yes. give you give it as, as, as from one to zero in terms of being good to bad. It's a 10. It's totally bad. It's a 10. It's a 10. Mm. It's a 10. And that is why Mr. Home Affairs Minister Wilfred Abraham so let me, before we, I know we, we have shorter time, who is pay, was paying for this inquiry? Not the taxpayer's money? Yeah, of course. Of course. So, so it's, it's not his money, but he is going to sell it? Well, I'm sure he pays, I'm sure he pays taxes too. I'm sure he pays taxes. <laughs> He's only one person? Yeah. Yeah. So if all those people that individuals that pay taxes and you, you, you did an inquiry, you used the, the taxpayers' money and you want because it's national security or sensitive information you want to do you want to you want to seal it. So how was the food? How was the food there? The food was not good. Was it I, enough? I do not complain. But was it enough? It it should have it I will talk to you about that <laughs> if, if, because if you are if you have projects where like the mill I know the mill have allegedly gardens and they have livestock allegedly we are not supposed to be eating sardine um, what's it called mackerel or whatever it is three times or four times a, a week this is not good mm -hmm. this is not good corned beef and rice no vegetables I didn't really complain about the food because everybody prioritized was the food. Everybody what? The bigger issues. Everybody was complaining about the food. Oh, I, I never see. once complained about the food. Okay. But because you've asked me. Okay. Okay. So we'll leave it as that for today. Okay. It gets interesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So yeah. we will continue with, we're going to continue with your experience at the Hotel St. Philip when we come back on again. Okay. Yes, please. Is that yes, okay? Please. Is that okay? So you can you so you can finish up the whole sweep of it. Yes, please. It takes a while. It will take a while. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, we, we will... it's not just one sweep because the national security, the things he's trying to think. I, I have a scoop on that. <laughs> okay, we gotta yeah. wait. Okay, so it, 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 it Rome wasn't built in a day, Miss <laughs> Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. So we, but we will continue yes, because we have to give it in piecemeal. We have to give people, you know, you know, people are busy and you know, you can't you can't hold them yes. too long. So okay, thank yes, you, no. thank you so very much for coming on again, You're and welcome. we'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you for having me. You are so thank welcome. You, you are this is Sherry Veronica Naked Departure Radio.